So from the beginning, measurement was used to, to aid commerce and many early measurements were based on body parts. So we're, we're going back in time to Egyptian times and they had a measurement unit called the cubit. And the cubit was the measurement used by the Egyptians to build the pyramids. And what was the cubit? Well, the cubit is the measure from your elbow to the tip of your middle finger when your arm is extended and it functioned very well for them this particular measurement unit we have the pyramids are still standing so that was a totally uh, valid measurement unit to use the foot is an example of another uh, ancient measurement unit where well, a foot is a, me a measurement equal to the lint of an individual's foot and king henry the first standardized this measurement because his foot was 12 inches long another old measurement would be the palm so the palm is the width of your four fingers when they are placed together that is the palm however obviously there was problems with body measurements a number of problems well first of all body part measurements are not accurate when dealing with fractions of body parts and people have different sized body parts and the ratio of a cubit to span may be different for different people. So it obviously there was a flaw in, in that way of, of, me, of those measurement units. So to resolve this issue, we uh, the metric system of measurement was developed. So by the 18th century, dozens of different units of measurements were common throughout the world. And this led to confusion in trade between countries. The French government stepped in and they decided to solve this problem. And what they did was, uh, through the French National Assembly, um, they commissioned the Academy of Science to, to design a simple decimal based system, based system of un units. And this was devised and it was known as the metric system, which we use today. And in 1960, the metric system was officially called uh, the system international de, de units, pardon my lack of French fancy French pronunciation there, and it is now used in nearly every country.